So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and join me for a game of Quantum by Funforge, where we'll be battling for control of the galaxy using our dice-shaped ships. So we've already set up the table. I'm going to be blue as I always am and I'm starting up here and then as red starting down here we're going to have Rogue. Now Rogue rolled the fewest value of dice so she's going to be our first player and Rogue is going to start her first turn using the ship ability modify to turn this into a five and then go one, two, three, four, five. Because that ship's already used a ship ability, it can't then move diagonally. She's then gonna pick this up and go one, two, drop it off. So that's two actions. Then her final action is gonna be to put her research up by one. It's then phase two, but she hasn't done anything in order to take an advanced action card, so it's my go. So I've got a lot of movement here, but rogue ship values, these two twos are quite scary. She's got a lot lower ship value than me. So I had been going to go this way, but she's obviously coming in this way and she's going after seven. She hasn't got a combination that makes an eight. So I think what I'm going to do is go this way and then head for the eight and try and avoid getting in a fight because at the moment my ships aren't powerful enough and I don't want to spend actions to reconfigure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one two three four five six one two three four five ah uh, no let's undo that because if I do that, I can't actually reach this planet to get the seven round it for next time. So I've got to go this way. So one. Yeah, one. One, two, three. Staying well away from those, ideally. Could run this in and then reconfigure it for free to see how it comes out. So I might do that. Oh, you know what? I don't have to use an action to move this. Let's so, uh, yes. Okay, that picks that up. Goes one, two. Um, so that's one action, just moving that using its ship ability to pick that up. So I've got two actions left, which means I can place a quantum cube. Boom. Yeah, that's good. So phase two, because I placed a quantum cube, I can take one of these cards. So we've got momentum, you immediately take another turn, but you only get two actions, not three. Uh, add a ship to your fleet with expansion, very tempting. Reorganize, immediately re-roll any or all of your ships. Ingenious, you can construct from corners, not just uh, the orbital side by side orthogonal rational uh, you always count as having free in combat rather than rolling the dice and arrogant extra action for the player with the most ships so if at the start of the turn you have more ships than your opponent then you get an extra action now i'd have to take this to be able to do this um, momentum's very tempting but i don't think there's any way that in two actions I could do anything terribly useful. I mean, another ship would be useful if I can get a low value ship to fight a moth. Uh, I think Ingenious or Momentum are the ones really I'm drawn to at the moment. Oh, oh, oh it's just so many choices. Okay, I'm going to go for Ingenious because I'm struggling to get into positions. I'm not really going a combat route. I want to be trying to avoid combat if possible and just be nimbly avoiding. So being able to go from corners would be very beneficial, I think. So I'm going to go for Ingenious. And the new card out 
we have brilliant so research bonus add two to your research automatically at the start of your turn very nice so rogues seen the brilliance of what I just did and could have actually have done the same from how she was positioned before but she didn't and now she's going to use her first two actions to construct a quantum cube so what's she going to do next she can't really reach me over here one two yeah she can't reach me to attack so that's good for me anyway she's only got one action left as well so I think what she's going to do with that one action, she's going to pick this up, go one, two, and drop it off there. So she's nearly in position for next time. Then for placing a quantum cube, she does get a card, and her card of choice is expansion. So she immediately rolls a ship. So she gets another two well she appears to have a fleet of uh, transport ships here of flagships and the new card out is another momentum card and then placing that ship she has to put it in orbit of one of these two planets because that's where she has quantum cubes so I think she's gonna go for there so she's got kind of a line of transport ships going on okay I don't think I'm gonna be able to place a quantum cube this time uh, despite my ingenious, because I get there, but then I need to also get the six there. Or I could get there, but not to there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this eight out of the way, and then I can just finish off with these two sevens, potentially. So I'm going to pick this up and go one, two, and drop this off there. No. Or I do that, I'm actually going to move this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that's much more sensible order. Then pick this up, go one, two, then drop this off there. And my third and final action is going to be research. Oh, so this gives Rogue a tough choice. A very tough choice. Because... She can either use two actions to do this, or she could use two actions to get a two over here and attack my six. Ooh. So yeah, that's a very difficult choice. Well, I think she's going to go for the attack. So this one, we'll pick this up and go one, two, and drop it off. And then this one will move in for the attack. So, let's roll dice. The attacker, which is rogue, will be black, and I'm going to go for the white. So I need to roll really well to stand a chance here. Oh, we each rolled four. So, each rolled the same. Rogue's is better than mine, so this goes away. Now, my dominance can't go down because it's already at the minimum at one. But I do re-roll my ship and I get a five, which is very frustrating. And that means Rogue's dominance goes up to two for destroying my ship. She can't move either of these, so I'm safe for attacks from these. So I think what she's going to do is just move this here ready to place a cube on her next turn. Which does mean it's now my turn, so I haven't now got the things I need to do there like I'd wanted. And I can't even do a deploy and then do it. So, I know what I can do. I can go, well I could just attack back. Which is tempting, but it doesn't really help me that much. Or I could just go one, two... Or actually, what would make more sense is pick this up, go one, two, drop this off, so that the five is in less vulnerable a space, I think makes more sense. And that's still only one action, and now I've got seven around here, so I'll use second and third actions to construct a cube. Then my card, well, it's no point arrogant, because there's no way I'm going to have the most ships at the moment. 
improving my combat, well, not needing to roll for combat might be useful. More research might be useful. But I think I'm going to go for the momentum, a bonus action. And that gives us aggression. Immediately add two to dominance. Well, not ideal. But I do now have another turn. Which isn't going to be a terribly exciting turn. Because I'm going to start with a reconfigure. And we get a six. So I'll use the ship ability to do a free reconfigure. And we get a two. Okay. So I've still got an action. And I'm going to use that action to deploy there. So here's now Rogue's Go, and using the whole transport, she could get a two to attack one of my twos. But that would use two actions, and it's not a guaranteed win on those. So instead, she's going to use two actions to place a quantum cube here, and a final action for a point of research. Then in phase two, for placing a cube, she'll take the arrogant ability. And the new command card out is warlike. So an extra action for destroying an enemy ship. And back to me to continue my chicken-like running away. Uh, while also, of course, moving towards victory. Because what I'm going to do is pick this up and go one, two, and drop it there. Because I'm ingenious... I am actually in range to place a cube, so I will with my second and third action. Then for my advance card, I'm going to take another momentum. So I get another two action turn, and the new card out is expansion. And with those two actions, I'm going to pick this up. And go one, two, and drop it off there. Uh, I've got one action left, which unfortunately is not enough to place my final cube. Um, not enough for me to reach for an attack. But I think I'm going to maybe move towards being in a position to attack. So we'll go, or I could do a reconfigure, because this is kind of off on its own now. Yeah, let's do a reconfigure on this. We get a five. And now it's Rogue again, and she's a bit behind now, so she's got two choices. She can either go and attack me and try and stop me being able to place the cube, or she can take a gamble on reconfiguring one of these and hoping she gets a six to then be able to place a cube herself. But if she does that, I'm still then going to place a cube on my next turn. So the only sensible thing is to stop me. So she's going to pick this up, go one, two drop it off there, and it's then going to go one, two, and attack my five. So we're going to do, again, attacker is black, defender is white. Oh, so we've got, what's this? Ah, three. So we've got three and a five. So the attacker has a total of seven, while I have a total of eight, meaning I lose another ship. And Rogue's Dominance is now up to three. And what's my new ship? A six. Okay. So despite her efforts, that's actually not enough to stop me because I can go one, two, three with this five for one action. And then two and three. Because it doesn't matter that there are enemies there. All that matters is my value, which is enough. So I have won the game. And that is Quantum. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel, like the video, share the video, as well as subscribing to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.